Hi, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be giving you a general walkthrough of the Awanda desktop Forex trading platform. So for breakdowns of individual features, we will also have a full playlist of, of course, each individual feature of Awanda desktop covered in its own unique specific video. So if you don't want to sit through the entire presentation, feel free to check out our playlist and you can look down, look at the breakdown of each individual topic. So for this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step of just pretty much a generalization and pretty much covering every single feature on this platform and how to start from the beginning and how to approach trading on this platform. So first up, and it's probably the most obvious, I will like to point out that your chart is typically located in the bottom right. To change the contract of your chart, you can just left click this drop down menu and select from one of the default options there. If you click edit, this will actually change your favorites list, which you can actually see here on the left hand side as well. We're under the favorites tab. Anything that just is displayed here is pretty much just a quick access menu. As you can see, if you do edit it, you can just add over to our rates list, essentially our favorites list. So that way, if you're trading something specific not listed here, you can just save it. And then as you can see, it's now added to our favorites. So just ease of access for you. Heading over to the right now, this is where you change your time frame of your charts. And heading over to the right of that, this is where you'll change the chart style. As you can see, we're currently in candlestick, but there's a ton of different other options as well. Now, as for the chart, this is quite nice. You can actually trade directly through it. You'll notice if you just right click anywhere on the chart, depending on where your crosshair is, the one that displays, this is a vertical one. The price indicator is displayed on the Y axis there. So as you can see, wherever that's lined up with, when you right click, that's a uh, price you'll trade at. From here, you can just simply enter in either market uh, orders or like I said, if you're using that specific price, you can do buy or sell orders at that specific price. If you want to, there's actually a couple ways to do it. As you can see, if you right click, you can open it up in a new window. This has brought it over to my other monitor, but as you can see, we have opened up our chart in an entirely new window. There are buy and sell buttons at the top of the chart as well. Chart options again, you have some advanced options here that aren't typically on the chart. As you can see, things like average price, ask price, average price, show bid price, things of that nature. Here you actually have some drawing tools for you to utilize. Continuing on under the advanced charting, this will actually open up a chart window in an entirely, you can almost call it a different platform. As you can see, and it may have just disappeared, it is using Java. Now, this is actually running through the Oanda web platform, also powered by TradingView, as you can see. So if you're familiar with TradingView or how Oanda web works, feel free to open up this platform. It's actually a bit more advanced than the desktop platform, so that's why they give you this option. If you want, you can trade through here as well because your account is automatically directed to this. And I won't be covering this too much because like I mentioned before, we do have topics breaking down each individual feature. You can check out our window web platform. It will provide you with a great alternative if you do like to trade on the web or you're trading from the go and you need something that is less resource intensive on your computer. A window web is definitely a platform for you. And like I just briefly mentioned, the charting is actually a bit more advanced than a window desktop is. So feel free to use this as an option if you trade through the chart or you like or you really get into technical analysis. And then heading over to the right once more, we do have that open graph and new window button just in case you need to open this up in a separate window. Now on the topic of separate windows, we do have another video covering multiple monitors with this platform. It's actually quite easy to open up additional charts if you come down to your favorites menu here or Forex, whatever the case may be, and you simply just left click on a contract name, it'll open up in my other window but as you can see, and let me drag it over, it'll open up a new chart. So if you don't want to get stuck to this charting region here, and although you can expand and contract as you may need using your mouse on the different uh, resizing tools here, if you do use multiple monitors or just want another chart to compare it to this main chart here in another window, you'll just left click where I'm currently hovering over and any of the available options. 
and you do have these order button styles too and it's the same thing you just click on the contract name or the instrument name and again it'll open up a chart as you can see carrying it over from my other window on to the topic of these order buttons as you can see you do have some different options here rather than in a list view if you prefer this all you need to do is left click and switch back and forth where my mouse is currently hovering over some other notable features when you are in this little order button window you'll notice you get a hand icon up here in the top we do have this covered in another video again but just to briefly go over this activates one click trading like it said you just kind of avoid any confirmation window so the second you click on your order button here the order will fill feel free to check out that video for an advanced breakdown of how that feature works now again with any single configuration or small section of this platform if you want as you've seen in the charting widget if you click this little window symbol it'll actually pop out whatever um, window you decide to click on and as you can see it becomes its own window so you may just want to essentially pop every window out that you can and as you can see you can start to make the platform your own and then anytime you can just simply close this out as you can see it'll stack on top of each other windows wise and you can just close these out as you need continuing on now um, with these order buttons here you do have settings which you can go in and we'll cover this in a different video but as you can see that each component of any of these windows is customizable continuing on we do have an account summary widget heading up to the top or left right now as you can see if you left click this button here it'll actually bring up a summary window of exactly what's being displayed so just more options for you if you want you can activate or deactivate any of these options here at any time and as you can see this just provides you with more information on your account no real downside to it it does increase this window size a bit but that's okay we are getting more information on our account now, if you'd like to check out any of your recent orders or any active orders or canceled orders, anything pertaining to orders that will be located directly at the top here, as you can see, we are filtered by active trades. You can head over to orders, any positions you may have, any exposure to the account, all activity, and then you actually get your own news feed. So if you do trade on the news, you can use this. Optimus Futures also has its own news trading platform, so you can feel free to check that out as well. It's Optimus News. I'll post a link for that in the description below. As for main features, that typically wraps it up. There's a bunch of different submenus up here, as you can see with connection, your trading account, you can buy and sell through here as well. Pretty much anything pertaining to your Forex account, you can do through here. So you can change your password, add funds, change leverages. You can actually create sub accounts through here. Heading over to tools, this is pretty much just any color schemes or fonts, language, how you manage your windows, preferences, which we've already taken a look at. Anything of this sort can be taken through here. You can create current profiles for yourself. So if you either have multiple people trading on one computer or you have different setups for different Forex instruments, you can create multiple profiles and manage them directly from here. As you can see, this is our primary account and primary profile that we use. We can delete it if we want, we can save as, we can change things up as we need. So if you just need different layouts for, like I said, different people or different instruments, you can switch those amongst the profile manager. Heading to resources, you have a bunch of these listed on your far left here, this little resources tab. You also have the drop down menu here. Things like news, technical analysis, advanced charting, different forms, statistics, order books all of which can be activated and accessed directly through here. Again, we have some videos on things like the order book and the economic calendar and news, so you can check those out. Account calculator is actually quite nice, so take, feel free to look at that as well. Back to Windows, although it's a bit different from your tools thing, this is how you set the defaults for how your Windows behave. The Windows section is just to manipulate those directly. And then finally, you do have a help section. So from here, you can pretty much just set up keyboard shortcuts, open a live account, contact Oanda if needed, or test your connection, things like that. Other than that, that pretty much just wraps it up. Just a real quick summary of everything and where you can find everything located on the Oanda desktop platform. 
I know I've stressed it multiple times, but we do have individual videos breaking down each component and each individual feature of the Awanda desktop platform. If anything I covered in here today didn't either make sense or you need further explanation, please check our Awanda desktop playlist. It's more than likely that one of these features was already covered in another video. Thank you for watching. And again, I'll be posting the links down to Optimist News in the description below. I can post a link for a demo account if you're interested in Awanda Web or Awanda Desktop. Feel free to take that link to download the demos for those. We also have questions. If you do have any questions, you can post them on our community forum. That link will be down below, or you can post them in the comment section on YouTube. Other than that, we appreciate your view. If you liked, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Omega content. Thanks for watching.